Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. If you shoot video with one of these, or especially Canon 5D Mark III with the new Kodak, you're gonna run into a hard drive problem after a while. Let me explain to you how I got my system set up and then we'll kind of get into the whole backup issue and all that other good stuff. So I have a desk and below my desk, I have a desktop computer, PC. Why is the desktop computer below the desk? I don't know why they ever called it a desktop because I always put it below. Inside of that desktop, I have a C drive, which is a one terabyte drive and it holds my OS. And then I have a D drive that handles all of my videos. And that is a one terabyte drive. On top of my desk, I have this little tray device where I can stick in uh, vertically hard drives that are connected to the eSATA so it's nice and quick so this hard drive tray goes to here and this is my e drive and this is a three terabyte drive which is nice but i've got a problem i've got a one terabyte drive here and i got a three terabyte drive here and this d drive backs up the e so i got lots of space there but on d it's about full and so what did I do? I went out and bought some more three terabyte hard drives. Um, what I do is I have another hard drive, um, also kind of called E, and it's also a three terabyte hard drive. And these two get swapped out and it goes to an external location. So if the house burns down, um, I always got the backup. And what's nice about the way I've got this set up is this D drive sets to back up to E drive every night. So I'm always, I don't lose more than a day worth of work. And I use a program called Second Copy. It's fantastic, I've been using it for years. It's super reliable, it's never let me down. Um, and it was pretty cheap, I think it was like nine or 10, 20 bucks or something, I bought it years ago. So here's the problem, is I've got a new drive three terabyte drive that I need to put here into D drive. And so what I'm gonna do is call this one F. I'm gonna take all the information from D drive, transfer it to F, and then once F is full, I'm gonna put the F drive here and then rename it D. And so I'll have all my stuff now on a three terabyte hard drive and I won't have to worry about space for a while. So there are a few things that we're gonna to need to do. The first thing is we're gonna to need to format the drive and then we're gonna to have to do some renaming and copying. So let's get to that next. All right, let's get started. If you hit start and you go to control panel, you'll see this type of box, hit administrative tools, computer management, uh, then disk management. And I know that it is put it on disk number 10. Um, you're gonna get a dialog box that's gonna come up and ask you if you want to do GPT or the other one, Master Boot. You want to pick GPT if it's a hard drive over two gig. Um, you're not going to see it here because I've already selected it. Um, so definitely do the GPT if it's over two gig. Then we're going to go to New Simple Volume. We're going to go step through the wizard. This wizard will help you create a simple volume. And we only want to. I only want to create one volume and it shows you the max, min, simple volume, with next. And here is where I want to go. This drive is, I want to call actually F and then we're going to recall it E later. But there is no F, so what's the next one is O. And click next. Uh, do not format this drive, format the drive, which we need to, because it's got no basically parking stripes to tell where to park the cars or data. So let's go ahead and do NTFS. It's the only one we got allowed anyway. Allocation unit size. I'm just going to go with default. And this one's going to call, um, will be new D. So I just, I know, um, and we got perform quick format. It's a brand new disc and it probably run fine, but let's be thorough. 
and make it not a quick format and click next and finish. All right, now that we've uh, formatted the hard drive, which took forever, it took eight hours. <laughs> eight hours did the long format. Um, you could probably do the quick format, but my thought on this whole thing is if I'm gonna trust this thing for the next few years as I use it, I wanna get the cleanest, best install I can. I wanna have the best data structure integrity I can on that hard drive and if it means spending eight hours and let it run overnight I'm gonna do it um, all right so now we formatted the hard drive uh, now everything is on the hard drive that was used to be on the D drive or still is on the D drive so what I'm gonna do now is go under disk management I'm gonna go to D drive one other thing that you'll see right here is you'll see that my O drive, the new three terabyte drive, says primary partition. And the D drive says healthy active primary. Um, so it's got the word active in there. And I did some looking up on what active meant. And it basically means um, <clears throat> that it, I think, believe it has an operating system on it and it could be bootable. Um, this particular one is not bootable so it doesn't matter that it doesn't say active. So what I'm going to do first is go down to D drive. I'm going to right click on it. <clears throat> I'm going to change the drive letter and I'm going to ch hit change and I'm going to change it from D to E since all my external drives are E and I just kind of swap them in and out. And so now I'm changing to E. Some programs that rely on drive letters might not run correctly. Do you want to continue? I say yes, because what's going to happen is everything that was referencing D can't reference it. Um, so now it comes up with an auto dialog. Here's my second copy actually came up. Uh, we just say no to that one. Um, all right, so now that this says E, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into my computer and swap out the old D drive and put in the new three terabyte O drive that I'll name to D drive. Is it getting confusing? All right, so we opened up my computer and I took out my old dusty D drive and relabeled it E drive. And now I've put in the new O drive and now I've got to relabel it back to D drive. So right off the bat, when I looked at my computer, I can say, we can see the drive and we can see it's got three terabytes, um, which is great. Uh, and it shows there's 2.7 terabytes and uh, 1.9 of it's free, which is great. So I got a lot of free room now. So now let's go ahead and open up the um, disk management. And let's go ahead and rename this to be video, say apply, so now it's called video, now all I have to do is rename it <clears throat> in terms of its drive name, so if I go down here and I right click on this side it doesn't give me what I want, but if I go over here and right click on here, I can say change drive uh, from O, I'm going to change it to D, say OK. The same message I got before, just say oh, yes. And now we've got D drive. So that's pretty much it. Um, in the future, what I'm gonna be doing is when I get my new computer, I'm gonna have an SSD for my operating system. I'll have another SSD for a scratch drive. And then I'll have like my three terabyte drives for storage. Um, if anybody's gone there already and done all that stuff, I'd love to know what recommendations you've got for that new type of setup. But I'm still dealing with a uh, computer that's a couple of years old. All right, that's pretty much it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.